Hello everybody, hope you are doing well. Well, today we are going to implement this view, the create post view. So let's start coding. And first thing is to go to our create post folder. Let's create a new file. The Swift UI view, let's call it create a post view. Okay, beautiful. I will create a navigation stack, and inside the navigation stack, I will have a V stack with an alignment of dot leading. Okay, let's wait for the preview. Hopefully, it will be now implemented. Okay, we will. First, start by implementing uh, this one, which will be a toolbar. So, here let's add dot toolbar. I hate when it happens this way. I think this one is a lot cleaner. Okay, we will add a toolbar item with a placement of dot leading, dot bar leading, and here we will have. As you can see, it's a nay stack, so nay stack, and it will have image with a system name of arrow dot left. Okay, and uh, and uh, it won't be just uh, uh, an image; it will be a button. Sorry button action of label and let's place the image here and it will have a foreground style of dot blue and the font weight of dot bold and then we will have a text and outside, I'm sorry, the button, we will have a text. Uh, sorry, let's say it's create post. Call it create post. Okay, and we don't see anything on the preview because I made a mistake of. Uh, Placing uh, the toolbar on the navigation stack it should be on the V stack. So let's cut uh, this code and place it uh, here. Now, hopefully, we will see as you can see uh, on the preview our update. Okay, and uh, of course, oh, I made it a dot blue, it should be dot black. Sorry, okay, beautiful. And now we will add another toolbar item. This one will be trailing, top bar trailing. And here it will be, as you can see, it's a button. So a button with action and label. It will be text of post with a font of dot sub headline. A font weight of dot semi bold uh, foreground style. I will and uh, to see uh, you see this button as you can see when I read it becomes uh, the background blue and white, and when I don't uh, write anything, when this one is empty. It's this color, so I will give it for now a color of a, a color of a system gray five, and then we will, when we implement uh, this uh, text field, we will add the behavior. So it takes into consideration whether it's uh, empty or not. So dot system gray five. Or I meant, uh, sorry, it's dot background of this one color of dot system gray five, 
and for this one it will be dot dark gray for now okay beautiful let's give it a padding of dot horizontal or you know what I will give it a frame while you padding we don't need it let's give it a frame with width and height with the width of 80 and the height let's try 45 or 35 will be better I think okay beautiful let's give it a clip shape of rounded rectangle with a corner radius of 8 okay perfect now let's go back to our V stack now we got this one as you can see we got a divider so we will start with a divider okay and then let's have also a spacer to have it in top okay now we will have an A stack so it will be an A stack and we will give it an alignment of the top and we will have an image for now it will be profile big it will be resizable a scale to fill and I will give it a frame with width and height of 45 I will also give it a clip shape of circle okay and to the entire A stack I will give it a dot padding okay better a lot better I think okay now we got this one it will be clearly a V stack so let's implement it so it will be a V stack with an alignment dot leading for some reason I keep writing uh, alignment uh, the wrong way okay okay the first one will be this text it will be for now on my family later when we add our view model and everything it will be a lot different okay but for now it will be this way and now we will add this one so let's add an A stack and inside our A stack let's have an A stack with a spacing 10 and uh, to our V stack let's give it a, a padding of dot horizontal okay what's wrong ah, okay we need to add the parentheses okay perfect I think Okay, we got this one and this one so let's add it will be first one an image of system name okay let me check it's person okay it's person dot two and dot fill and the second one will be it will have then uh, or let's give it a frame with width and height of 14 to 12 let's give it a foreground style of blue what else we got the text so it will be a text of friends we got this one so it will be for the friends we'll give it first a font of dot headline for some reason okay I got this text so 
for this one you click on cmd control and space choose this one and you give it a font of dot caption to okay, i think for friends i think i used footnote not sure to be honest i don't think it's footnote let's try subheadline anyway i will check it later what's why it's not uh, the way i want it to be so you know what uh, i will give this font of dot set subheadline to to the entire a stack Okay, better I think. Still not the result I want. Uh, something is wrong. I think it's uh, not uh, 10. I think it's 16, something like that. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's give it a, a background. Color of system gray 6. System gray 6. Okay, let's give it dot padding of uh, dot horizontal and dot padding of dot vertical of the five. Okay, it's a lot better, but still not uh, the way I want it to be. So. Let's also take this foreground style of blue. Let's make it on the all on the whole A stack better, I think, and with a clip shape of rounded rectangle with a corner radius of eight. Okay, a lot better. Still not uh, the result I want 100%, but a lot better, I think. At least. Uh, Okay, it's clear that um, there is also a font weight of bold, font weight of dot bold. Okay, uh, now as you can see, uh, those are similar, so we want to recreate the same component, we will make it a reusable component, so uh, to our where it is it okay to this a stack let's extract subview let's refactor and rename let's call it choice uh, view okay now it will have a private var image name of type string private var title of type string2 and let's make our initializer okay beautiful let's cut this name and here let's pass the image name and uh, here uh, Delete it and replace it with title. Okay, now to our choice view, we will add the missing argument. So, first one will be person dot two dot field, and for the second one, it will be friends. Okay, we will copy it and add the second one. And the third one. Okay, perfect, and I think the spacing is wrong, let's make it 12. Okay, perfect. Okay, the second one with... Uh, okay, it doesn't have an any image name, I think. Uh, okay, and it has the name of album, so... Album, and the third one, it's... This one, I think it's camera. Okay, 
and it will have title of off okay perfect I think uh, it's really nice uh, now we will add our text field this one it's one what's on your mind so uh, let's see inside our a stack here we'll have text field it will have the text what's on your mind and it will uh, sorry and it will have a text and here let's create add state private var mind uh, text of type string it will be a dollar mind text okay and for some reason let's see okay and I will give it also an axis of dot vertical Okay, I don't see, I don't know why I got this error. Preview. Okay, I, let's, let's, he wants a mind text, so. At state, private var, mind text. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I will make it this way, I will give it a, an empty string, sorry, it was a very basic mistake. Okay, now hopefully everything will be working, okay, beautiful. Okay, and uh, one thing, it's, let's get it outside with V stack, and because it's not uh, inside an A stack, it's after that it will be here and I will give it a padding of dot horizontal okay perfect now after that we will have a spacer then a divider then this a stack so after the spacer we will got a divider and after the divider we got an a stack and inside this A stack, we will start with a spacer and then a button, action and label. And for the label, it will be check. Okay, it is an image. So image of system name. And let me check. It's photo dot dot fill dot on dot rectangle dot fill okay perfect and let me check what's the color it's green okay it will be dot foreground style of dot green okay perfect we need to do the same thing uh, let's see it was five times so we need to copy and paste it uh, four more times two three four and uh, we will add a final spacer okay perfect uh, the second one will be person dot fill dot fill and with a color of blue okay the third one uh, okay I need to check it's face dot smiling and for the color it will be dot yellow the fourth one okay it's not a system name this one is image from our asset folder it will be pin with a frame with width and height of 80 and it needs to be dot resizable 
and for the color let me check it's dot red okay, perfect and for the last one it will be let me check okay it will be ellipses dot circle dot fill and for the color it will be dark gray or dot dark gray okay perfect okay, I think it's really good maybe okay I think it's perfect the thing now we need to take into consideration is when I'm writing, this one needs to be enabled and change the color, like in here, as you can see. So we will go to our button. Let's see. It's inside our toolbar, I think. Yes. And here, the first thing will be dot disabled. And for the not disabled, we will test on mind text dot count equal equal zero. If if mind dot text dot count equal zero, the button will be disabled. So as you can see, when I click on it, there is a, no. It is not interacting. Let's say I write a letter. Now, as you can see, the button is not disabled. Okay, good. Uh, the second thing is now for this one, for the color. As you can see, if I write something, it becomes blue. So for the background color, it should be. If mine text dot count equal zero in that, in that case it, it's system gray five else it will be dot blue okay okay and what's wrong okay i made uh, i made it inside the color so now it should be working fine so now as you see if I write a letter, the background become blue. Okay, perfect. Now we will do the same thing now also for the foreground uh, style. So we will add mind text dot count equal zero. In that case, it's color dot dark gray. Else it will be dot white. So now if I, you see my button if i write a letter the button becomes blue and it's enabled if i delete it it's disabled and as you can see it has the system gray 5 background and the dark gray color okay one of the last things also this one when i click on it it needs uh, to disappear so we need to add add environment slash dot dismiss private var dismiss and here uh, to my toolbar let's go to our toolbar okay here in the action we are going to call dismiss okay perfect i think uh, we need to call now this view so uh, we will go to our uh, header view okay and inside my header view here let's dot full screen cover the one with is presented and here we will call create post view okay perfect i think uh, the other thing now it's to add add state private var show create post of type boolean and it will have a default value of false and here we will give it dollar show create post 
okay and uh, when i click on what's on your mind so let's go to the button here in the action in the action let's say show create post dot toggle okay let's go check if everything is working fine let's go to our main tab view and hopefully everything will be fine if i click on what's on your mind okay the few appear it's perfect uh, if i write text field uh, it appears okay i think okay it's perfect if i delete uh, it becomes a uh, disabled if i click on this button uh, we are back to the, pre, to the feed view, so I think it's perfect. In the next uh, video, we will be working on this one, so let me show you the final app. We will be working on the friend requests. So, as always, please like if you like the content, uh, subscribe if you are not subscribed yet and as always stay safe stay healthy and see you in the next video bye bye